Coach, what was your impression of uh, Derek tonight? Yeah, he's okay. He's okay. I have to say, I have to answer that question. You were at the game, right? Uh, he was obviously spectacular. I don't know what else to say. At both ends of the floor. How big did that basket look once you got going? Uh, I was just trying to be aggressive, uh, try to get to the paint. Um, I know a lot of times they try to bluff and get back, so I was just trying to finish strong when I when I was driving into paint and make the right play. Derek, Derek did, did you realize how much emotion you were showing tonight, and do you feel like you ever, I mean, pointing at your bicep and kind of getting excited, have you ever showed that much in a game? <laughs> um, I mean, every now and then I get like that. Um, it's not really my thing, but... Um, just the emotion of the game. Derek, when a guy scores 21 points in a fourth quarter to end the previous game, are you chomping at the bit a little extra, maybe a little extra motivation coming into this game, or is maybe even just a little bit more itching to get back on the court? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like a lot of those are on me, so I had to step up and uh, make them work today. So um, it was great team defense, and we're going to have to – continue to improve on it throughout the series. Well, Derek, uh, considering we were still playing in the G League last year, how much does this game show your maturity and your development as a basketball player? Um, I mean, I think the G League last year was huge. I mean, everybody said I didn't have playoff experience, but I did this in the G League. Just kidding. Uh, but, uh, I mean, it was big for my development and just learning uh, what works, what doesn't work, and um, stuff like that. Derek, I imagine growing up you watched a lot of NBA playoff basketball, saw a lot of people sitting where you are right now on the podium giving a post-game interview. Like, uh, after the path you took to get here, Division II, one season of college, uh, you know, or Division One. did you ever think you would be sitting where you're sitting right now? Um, I mean, a lot of things has gone crazy, and I'm um, extremely blessed to be in this situation. Um, I mean... Uh, everything I'm not taking for granted, but uh, I'm just trying to stay in the moment. Derek, how important was your defense? Because you got you got a couple of fast breaks going with some uh, good defensive plays, and how did that uh, help you guys get rolling offensively? Um, yeah, I mean, I take a lot of pride defensively, and um, I know that I'm gonna have to bring it each game, so. Um, just getting stops or whatever it might take to get us out and running. We're, we're a tough team. Um, Malone described you as hungry, that you haven't eaten in two days. How do you think you would describe your motivation for the game today? Um, I think I just had a chip on my shoulder. Um, just the way I play since I was young and just um, trying to go out there, compete, and have fun. Derek, uh, Denver, some of the guys in the locker room have pretty much said that game four is a must win, even going as far as saying as that they feel like they are going to win game four. How do you guys get ready for what you're going to see from the Nuggets in game four? Um, we know they're going to bring it. Um, they've been playing great all year, and um, we expect them to come out ready to go. So we're going to have to make some adjustments and be better in game four. Uh, in the fourth quarter, after uh, Jamal Murray got a three-pointer, you and Pop had a quick little chat there, and you scored in the, the next possession. Can you share what he told you in the, that minute? Uh, yeah, I, I made a dumb play defensively, so he let me know about it. Uh, 36 for Derek White tonight. Obviously, he did a lot of his damage inside. Just what gave you guys issues stopping him tonight? Uh, exactly that. We couldn't stop him. I mean, they had 62 points in their paint. We gave up 16 blow-bys, just one-on-one -on -one containment, not game plan or nothing. It was just the ability to guard one-on-one -on -one or the uh, lack of the ability to guard one-on-one. -on -one. He was inc impressive. From Jump Street, uh, he attacked. He got wherever he wanted. He finished. Uh, he was into us defensively. Uh, that was a, a hell of a performance for a young player. There's no doubt in my mind that Derek White, um, the last couple of days, has been reminded about Jamal Murray's fourth quarter performance. Derek White came out like he hadn't eaten in two days. He came out hungry. He came out pissed off. And he sent a very loud and clear message. 